Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and the creator of the Create Cosmetic Formulas program. I often get asked, how can I substitute ingredients? So today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Create Cosmetic Formulas program to substitute ingredients with confidence. Now there's a couple of different approaches you need to take depending on the type of formula you're making. So today's video is going to be all about substituting ingredients when you're making emulsions. So products like your creams and lotions. First, sign into the program, select the skin and hair care mode of the program, and then select the oil in water lotion. Now I'm gonna show you with a lotion, but the same way to substitute ingredients works if you were making a body butter, a cream, a cream gel, a lotion, or a serum that's lotion-like. So I'm just gonna click on the oil in water lotion and click create. Now here is the guideline of the formulation. And again, you don't need to understand what any of these ingredients do because the program helps you select every single one. I do wanna show you a couple of really important ingredients for any type of emulsion that you're creating and how the program can help you substitute different materials for each other and then still make sure you're using the right inputs. First, let's take a look at the gums that you can use to make a lotion. Now the program has this in red, which means you definitely need this ingredient in your formula. So let's click on select and you'll see you have a whole heap of different choices that you can substitute in your formulation. Now what I've done in this program is I have listed out whether the ingredients are synthetic or naturally derived or even natural so that you can pick and choose if using more natural ingredients is important to you. I've also given a little bit of information about the properties of the different types of gums or polymers that can help you with your choices. And of course, you'll need to cross check with the suppliers where you can source your materials. Remember from our website, we have a great suppliers page that will help you find a supplier near you no matter where you are in the world. The better you get used to the suppliers in your region, the more you'll get familiar with the types of ingredients they can provide you. And of course, once you can source the materials, you can make all sorts of different formulations. So in the program, we have lots of different choices based on synthetic or natural, the type of skin feel or benefits they might provide to your formula. And of course, you'll also need to consider the suppliers in your region or near to your region that you can source materials from. Now, one of the great things about the program is it will help you with the right input because different gums or polymer choices will alter how much you have to use in your formula. And you don't have to know this. For example, if I click on Carbamer, this is a synthetic material, but it's a great suspending agent, which might be a reason for selecting it. So I'm gonna click on select and you'll come back to this page here, which is where you create your formula. Now you don't need to know how to use the material or even how much to use because the program will tell you the range that you need to use in that formula. Now, if you know nothing else about the material or its input, start in the middle of the range that we give you as a choice. Now, another great thing about this program is once you've made an ingredient selection, if you go to pick another ingredient that maybe is incompatible with that ingredient, the program will let you know. So every formula works. You can never make a mistake and your formula won't fail. It will always come together for you. So stop wasting ingredients because every formula works. Let me show you how clever this program is. So up here I've selected Carbamer. Let's just take a look at some preservative choices. You'll see because of that gum selection that these types of preservatives here are now incompatible with that gum selection. Again, you don't need to know this. The program will help you choose the right materials so that they're always compatible with each other. Let's say, for example, I specifically wanted to use this type of preservative. What could I do now? If I return to my formula and change my gum selection, I've removed it for now, you'll now see that that preservative choice is available to me. So I could select that preservative and again, the program will tell me exactly how much I need to use. If you're not sure and you've never used it before, 
use the midpoint of what the formula recommends. And then I could go back and I could revisit my gums to make sure I'm making a compatible selection. You'll see here that the carbamer is now marked as incompatible because of the type of preservative that I've picked. So the program will help make sure that I'm always making compatible selections for the types of ingredients I'm picking. Even if you've never formulated before, I've loaded all of the information into the program for you so it helps you make the right choices every single time. And remember with those inputs, if you don't know anything else about the ingredient, just use the midpoint. Now let's take a look at a non-ionic emulsifier. Again, you don't really need to know what types of materials are non-ionic emulsifiers because the program's got a lot of choices for you. Let's click on select and you'll see there are a whole heap of different choices. I also let you know how natural or not each material is in case that's important for you. And remember that compatibility information is loaded into the program from the back so that you can never make an incompatible selection. It's also really important that you pick and choose your emulsifiers and use the program to guide you on input because different emulsifiers will have different input amounts. Let's take a look at an example and how the program helps make sure you use the right amount every single time so that your formulas always work. I'm going to pick the Satyral Alcohol Satyral Glucoside Blend. It's also often known as Montanov 68 or Emilgade Peel 6850. So I'm going to click on Select. And you can see here that the input is between 3 and 6%. If you know nothing else about the ingredient, use the midpoint. But let's say I wanted to pick a different type of emulsifier. It's not correct to assume that you would use the same amount of every type of emulsifier in your formula, because then your formula may not work. But what I've done is loaded this program with the information for each different emulsifier to help you make the right selections and also select the right inputs so that every formula works. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, I'm going to pick the Satyral Wheat Straw Glycoside Satyral Alcohol. Your supplier may also call it Xyliants. Remember, different suppliers will call different materials by different names. And if you're not sure how to source ingredients, please watch my video where I explain how to source ingredients and look for the inky names to make sure you're selecting the right ingredient from your suppliers. So I'm going to select this material here. And you'll see that now the program tells you to use a different input. That's because I've used my experience and my knowledge to help make sure that you'll always use the right amount in your formulas so that every formula will work. And if you know nothing else about the ingredient, use the midpoint. Now I'm just going to make a few other ingredient selections and then show you how the method is calculated for you as well. Once you've selected an ingredient and an input for every item in red, you'll see there's no more red on that left-hand side of the screen for the inputs, which means I'm ready to click Generate Method because I've got all my essential ingredients in my formula. Then the program will look at the combination of materials you've selected and write the formula up using the correct phasing, and method instructions to help make sure your formula comes together for you the right way every single time. You can print this out and then that's your formula to keep and use for your own products or to start your own brand. Now this method is written specific to the ingredients I've selected here. Let me show you another example of how that method might change if I choose different ingredients. In particular, take a look at steps two and step three. You'll see that in step two, I ask you to form a slurry and then add that to phase A, and then we heat phase AB and use high shear. Let's take a look at how that changes if I select some different ingredients. In this example, I'm going to pick the carbamer. 
and I've had to change the preservative so that it's compatible also. I'm now going to click on generate method and have a look at how much it's changed the method. First of all, I'm not slurrying phase B anymore. I'm making sure I add it under low shear mixing only. And here I am again heating phase A and B, but then I'm adding phase C under low shear stirring only. So the program looks at the ingredients you've selected and then picks the right method to make sure that your formulas work every single time. You'll also notice the final pH has been stated here and that again has been input by me to make sure that it's going to suit the specific ingredients in your formulation. So stop wasting ingredients because every formula works. When you choose your ingredients, the program will help you pick the right inputs and make the right substitutions and will then give you the right method specific to the ingredients you've selected. I hope this shows you how easy it is to use the Create Cosmetic Formulas program to substitute the ingredients you want to use in your formulations and then helps with the right inputs and the right method so that every formula works. Make sure you subscribe to createcosmeticformulas.com so you can get making your formula selections and methods this confidently and stop wasting ingredients because every formula works. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to createcosmeticformulas.com. Happy formulating.